At times in Disney's animations, and especially in opening shots, we're made to see the picture from an oddly real perspective. Distance and depth are more defined, and a natural parallax is formed. This is the plan for a super cartoon camera. We call it the multiplane camera. To explain, let's take a nice long look at Bambi's opening shot. We open in a woodland scene, tracking through the trees. Notice the trees are organized in varying distances. Closer trees move through the shop faster than those behind them, and so on, revealing multiple layers. Depth of field is shown by some closer trees appearing out of focus with trees behind them in focus. The waterfall in the distance tracks much slower through the shot, giving a natural perspective of distance. Thank the multiplane camera. It moves as many as seven transparent layers of artwork across the camera at different speeds and distances from each other. This is what generates that three-dimensional feel. German filmmaker Lotte Reiniger was the first to experiment with multiplane in 1926 using silhouettes to form layers for her animated feature The Adventures of Prince Ahmed. Later in 1933, former Disney animator and director of iWorks developed what would be known as the multiplane camera, which he made up from parts of an old Chevrolet. The most famous version was invented by Bill Garrity for Disney, the same man responsible for Fantasia's sound system, Fantasound. With this development, the studio was able to use it first in their short animation The Old Mill in 1937, winning them an Academy Award. Since then, animation studios have been using it on the regular, up until the 90s when it was recreated digitally. While Multiplane was used in Disney's first four films, you can see it most clearly and most frequently in Bambi. Not only is the effect present in the opening and closing shots, it's seen in our introduction to the title character, to the great prince of the forest, to various transition scenes, musical numbers, tracks, zooms, pans, the whole nine yards. A lot of work for the Disney staff. So, what was the purpose for their extensive use of multiplane in Bambi? Well, the effect builds depth. It plays with an audience's immersive experience. The woods are busy and thick with trees and shrubs. In order to bring truth to a woodland scene, we have to see the nature in its natural form. The simple goal for the audience is to stay in the woods from start to finish, to be part of the birth and the love and the danger. The film's villain, known only as Man, is never seen on screen. So to separate us as humans from the villain, we're placed within the dense thicket that the animals call home. With a multiplane camera, we essentially become a layer ourselves. Of course, today we take the technique for granted, just like when monochrome was replaced with Technicolor and analog surpassed by digital. Now, it's hard to comprehend just how much this one concept advanced animation from a crude, limited art form to an infinite world of its own. A world that we, the audience, continue to inhabit as another layer merging our reality and Disney's imagination. <laughs>